Rites of passage, an event marking an important stage in someone's life. In the off-road world, this could be the very first trail that you do in an area or in the next difficulty level. This is Episode 1, Rites of Passage, Moab, Utah, on Chicken Corners. Today we are just outside of Moab, Utah, and one of the trails I hear from people say, oh, it was my first trail was Chicken Corners. So Chicken Corners was one of the very first trails I ever did when I came out to Moab for the first time. It was an easy one because, hey, you pull the book out and it says it's an easy trail. I figured, hey, let's try this one first. And man, was I amazed. The stuff that you see back on this trail, the rock formations, the Colorado River, and let alone Chicken Corners. Start early for this one, get some gas, get on Main Street, head west at the McDonald's onto Cane Creek Road. When you find your first spot to air down, air down because you're going to travel on Cane Creek Road for quite a while. Cane Creek Road is a beautiful road in itself. You're going to have to take that to Huron Pass. To do Chicken Corners, you've got to take Cane Creek Road and Huron Pass. This is a three for one deal. Huron Pass could be a destination in itself. Take your time through this section. The views are just really amazing. And be sure to keep an eye out for Hoodoos and Spires on the way up. When you get to the top of the pass, be sure to stop, take in all the views, and create a memory that will last a lifetime. All right, we just made it to the top of Huron Pass. You gotta do this road before you start Chicken Corners. This is the start. A lot of the roads in the Moab area were originally formed for the uranium mining days. Not this one though. This one was from actually herding cattle. This used to be a cattle path. They would take cattle across the Colorado River and up and over Huron Pass. And I can only imagine when they finally got to Huron Pass, they were like, Huron, we're almost there. We're gonna go down a nice, fun shelf road. It might scare some people a little bit, but it's really not that bad. And off in the distance, from what you can see here, you're gonna see the potash mine ponds in the background, the Colorado River, and all the amazing buttes. And we got one special rock formation we're gonna see here in just a little bit. The road starts off rather wide and open, but does quickly narrow the further you go down. Remember, uphill traffic always has the right of way. As you descend, you'll go around several curves and corners, but you always have view of oncoming traffic. Did we mention the curves? 
Because of the incline, a lot of people like using four-wheel drive low on this section of the road to save the transmission and to keep better control over the vehicle. On shelf roads, one of the biggest concerns is areas to pass or pull over. Luckily, Chicken Corners has a few of those spots. At about the two mile mark, the road does start to flatten out and widen out and you get amazing views of the benches across from the Colorado River. Lodge. That's actually an adventure outpost if you're ever interested in staying in an off-the-grid environment. At the end of the wash, you're going to see a little slick rock going up to the right, and it's real sandy on top. It's pretty simple, but newer driver may want a spot right there. As you drive down the trail, you'll start to notice an odd-shaped rock mound. This is called Catacomb Rock, and it is one of the highlights along this trail. It's worth a stop. There are wind caves here that you can go in and explore, and they are just absolutely amazing. They formed over thousands of years from wind. This wouldn't be a true Western Desert Trail if there wasn't a broken down vehicle from ages ago. It's a green diamond motor, whatever a green diamond is. And it's actually green paint on here. So it was a green diamond. I don't think he got stuck. I think he got ambushed by the mafia. With all the bullet holes. Obviously, the Tommy gun got a hold of him. <laughs> there are three designated camping areas on this trail. We were at one of them. It's the only one with a tree on it. So there's three. Go to the website, trailsoffroad.com, and get all the details about the designated camping areas. Chicken Corners is an out and back trail, meaning you drive it out and then you drive it back. When you drive back, you get amazing views of the Colorado River from a different perspective than you did coming in. It's a two for one deal when it comes to these views. If you take your time to explore, you can find some really interesting things like this natural bridge. Is anybody missing a chair? <laughs> it's gonna fit. There are three trails that connect off of Chicken Corners. Jackson Hole, Catacomb Spur, and this one, Lockhart Basin. It's one of our favorites. It's a 40 mile overland adventure with a notorious first mile that is super tough.
Once you have passed the Lockhart Basin Trailhead, you have benches on one side of you, the mighty Colorado River on the other side of you, and epic views of Pyramid Butte off in the distance. The anticipation of getting to Chicken Corners really starts to build on this section of the trail, but make sure you take your time because these views are just absolutely amazing and these are memories that you're going to keep forever. This is a rite of passage. Here we are, Chicken Corners, and legend has it that the local area Moab guides would let their chicken passengers walk this section of a trail that slopes into the Colorado River below. It's a scary section, let's take a look at it. A mile or so after you've passed Chicken Corners is another great spot on the trail, and that is the end. This also is the most difficult section of the trail. There's only room for four or five vehicles to park at the very end, so if you're with a large group, you might want to scout ahead. This is definitely a place you want to stop though, with the views of the Colorado River down below, the benches across the way, and the very beginning of a gooseneck further on up. Keep those eyes open because you never know what you might see. Or meet, like Jesse James, the hiking ferret. Check him out on Instagram. If you like this video, be sure to hit like and subscribe to the channel. And more importantly, when you come out on Chicken Corners, leave a trail review because that we really like. It means an awful lot to us. We love living through you guys. We hope to see you out on the trail sometime soon.